uh, and we're going to talk now about the auto prompt. The auto prompt is actually something that's kind of on the cutting edge. Uh, in the last few weeks, uh, the auto prompt has emerged as kind of a trending topic in nerdy AI circles. Um, so, what is the auto prompt, Jeff, and uh, what does it say about the potential future of prompting and prompt engineering? Thanks, Dan. Yeah, so we are talking about the autonomous prompt. Um, I would suggest that if you're just getting into artificial intelligence and using these tools, that you actually don't try this because these tools are actually so advanced and experimental right now that they can accidentally cost you a ton of money, break your computers, do all sorts of crazy stuff. But the autonomous prompt is the idea that we are starting to develop prototype tools where instead of actually prompting an AI like you saw Nicole doing, that you just eventually get to the point where you give an AI an end goal. And these artificial intelligence systems figure out how to prompt themselves along the way. So there are a few experimental tools out there right now, like auto GPT or baby AGI, all these fun open source tools where people are using things like chat GPT and GPT-4, but turning them from just simple language models into these autonomous agents where you as a user give them a goal. And so one example that I saw in the wild that was really interesting is a business owner told the um, auto GPT agent that it wanted to do market research on its competitors and create some new marketing and brand strategy material. And what this tool was able to do was using these language models, it took control of his computer, it went and it searched the internet for all of its competitors, it read their websites, it pulled the information back, it then extracted the, the marketing differentiation of his company from those websites, and then it produced a Word document where it outlined all of the things it thought was unique about his company and recommendations for how to market it. Um, so this is where we are going. This is not stable right now. Anyone who's played with these tools can tell you they will blow up your computer. They'll cost you a ton of money. But I think at a certain point of maturity, we get to a point where if you're a good prompt engineer and you can do what Nicole is doing right now, that is where the window of opportunity is between now and seven years from now, where you can be really excellent. Probably 10 years from now, I don't think my kids will actually ever have to worry about prompt engineering because they may just tell the robot, hey, build a website for me. But, but we're just starting to see the beginning of that stuff. And if you're curious about it, look up like a YouTube video on auto GPT and don't break your computer, please. Uh, well, I'll actually give you a better one. Um, so this past week, um, Brockman, uh, uh, Greg Brockman, who is the OpenAI co-founder who we saw at the beginning of the, the, uh, the, the lesson, actually did a TED talk. Um, and a lot of what he focused on was this autonomous uh, prompting and, and integrating uh, not just generative AI from ChatGPT, but bringing in uh, other tools, other websites, other apps, other software uh, in, a, in a dynamic and automated way. Um, I watched this for the first time yesterday. It had 900,000 views. Uh, here we are uh, 10 hours later and it's broken 1.1 million in less than one week. So uh, definitely would recommend y'all uh, watch this TED Talk um, and uh, you'll see what the future uh, that we have in store, uh, as long as we don't uh, take the moratorium that Elon Musk is urging uh, and that's right around the corner.